Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today we are going to do a filtration experiment. We are going to be filtering sand and salt using a coffee filter. Uh, we are using Christian Kids Explore Chemistry by Bright Ideas Press, which is an elementary level uh, chemistry course. And so take a look at that experiment. We are separating compounds by filtration. And so you will want to have some sand and some salt. You will need a funnel and a mason jar and you will need filter, um, yeah, coffee filter, a pie plate and you will need some sort of either a beaker or some other uh, measured thing. So you have a measuring cup that is glass in your kitchen. And so you can use that. You also need a bowl, a spoon for stirring, and a teaspoon. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to put um, two teaspoons of salt into the bowl. So put two teaspoons of salt into the glass bowl. Now we will add one teaspoon of sand to the two teaspoons of salt to the side. Don't, don't mix it yet. Okay, now we are going to taste the salt, okay? Go ahead and taste the salt. What does it taste like? Mm, salty. Salty? Okay. Um, go ahead and taste the sand. You do not have to swallow it, just taste the sand. And how does that taste? It. I don't taste anything. You don't taste anything. Okay, so um, we write that down on our chart that the salt tastes salty and the sand tastes like nothing. We will also want to look at the salt and sand and how it feels to the touch. So um, Nathaniel, go ahead and feel the salt and rub it between your fingers and then feel the sand and rub it between your fingers. Um, which one is more coarse, like, you know, thicker? Um, I think the salt is a little bit thicker. The salt is a little bit thicker because we have very fine grain sand from California that we have. Mm -hmm. So normally sand is probably thicker than um, salt, but we have salt that is thicker. Okay, so we will write that down under salt that it is grainy. Sand is grainy also, but that the salt is thicker than the sand. So we will be writing that down on our notes. And also, what color is the salt? The salt would be white. It's white, and the sand is what color? Sand would be grayish. It's grayish. Okay, so this, uh, this particular sand is grayish. And so we are examining the salt and the sand. Yes, we are looking at the coarseness of the sand and the salt, which are both kind of grainy. And the salt crystals are slightly larger than the sand crystals. Okay, now we are stirring them with a spoon, stirring them together. Okay, this is, this is called a mixture where you just have them both together. I know, okay. what it, I know what it looks like. It looks like snow on dirt. This looks like snow on dirt. Okay, now we are getting 100 milliliters of water and pouring it into the sand and salt mixture. And we are going to stir it for one minute. So go ahead and stir it. You might want to set a timer for one minute. Stir until that salt dissolves in the water. You will notice that the sand is not dissolving. 
Okay, after stirring for one minute, you want to put the filter into the funnel and put the funnel on top of the mason jar um, or drinking glass. Okay, so put it on top of there. Now, um, Nathaniel, go ahead and pour the mixture uh, through, and uh, Rachel, hold on to the funnel. Hold the funnel while he is pouring. Pour slowly, slowly into that filter, okay? As you can see, the water is going through the filter and the sand is not, okay? So it's dripping, dripping down into the mason jar. And something has probably gone through this filter paper. What do you think is going through the filter paper besides the water? The salt? Yes, the salt has been dissolved in the water and is now able to pass through the filter like magic. And then, when you dehydrate the water, all that's left is just the salt. Yes. So as soon as that stops dripping, what you're going to do is you're going to pour the mason jar into the pie pan. As soon as all the water has gone through the filter, and actually not all the water has to go through the filter if you're in a hurry, then put that to the side, maybe on top of the beaker or something, and then pour the mason jar water into a pie plate. Okay, it could be an aluminum pie plate. We have a glass pie plate. And what you're gonna do is you're going to leave that out for a few days and you're going to wait until the water evaporates and then we will see what is left at the bottom of the pie pan. Are we done After a few days, the water has evaporated and salt crystals are left behind. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching our filtration experiment.